Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. Today we're doing mission 17. Mission 17, Parted Memento. What can I grab? What can I grab? Hmm. I have enough for both, I think. Yep. Alright. More health, more trigger. Gonna need everything I can get in this mission. Slash away at the dragon and enter the court with the quicksilver. The dragon? Hmm, okay. Huh. Now where are we? Might recognise these destructible items here. And here's the familiar stairwell. Yep. So this part of the castle still exists, it's just not connected with a door to the rest of the castle. Now I'm gonna head back. For two reasons. Number one is a secret mission here to do. Number two is I forgot a blue orb fragment last mission. Luckily I can still go back and get it though. So I'll do the secret mission first because that's a bit of a pain to activate. I've got to fly over here. You can jump as well, but uh, fuck that. Secret mission, blue gem in the sky. Acquire the blue orb that's located high in the sky. Okay. Blue orb way up there, and a death star. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. So, the idea of this... I think the idea of this mission is that you have to use the death star's bouncy things to jump up and hit the... Blue orb, uh, blue orb, yeah. But I've tried that and it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. So I'm gonna kill this guy first and I'm just gonna fly over with air raid. <laughs> Fuck doing it. The. Oops. Intended way, that's the word I'm looking for. Intended. This death starts is being a pain in the ass. Oh, I missed him. So you can see how annoying death starts can end up being. Ow. And he can knock you off the bridge into the water. Where you will have to fight the skulls again and you will also fail the secret mission. And you also cannot retry it. You have to restart the mission. So incredibly annoying. Okay, and that stupid death scythe is gone. I'm just gonna fly over. There it is. Yeah. See, I think we were meant to bounce up there using the death scythe trampoline things. I think. Screw that. Do not try to do that. You will rip out your hair in frustration. Just fly. Just fly. Okay. Alright. So there's a blue orb fragment in this hallway. What's in the hallway? I believe it's fetishes. Stinger. Yep. Never it, there's never nothing in the hallway, there's always something. Once I get my trigger back. Get some red orbs at the same time. Grenade gun's pretty overpowered when you grenade rolling. But it makes the game easier, so let's not complain, okay? No complaining. out of here. Excellent. There's not many blue orb fragments left in the game now actually. I uh, can't remember how many exactly but there's not many at all. The rest of the blue orbs are all bought from the shop and I may end up having to farm up some red orbs for that because they get quite expensive. Woohoo! Alright. 
So, continuing on with the mission. We are just already destroyed everything here. I love destroying things. Do you remember there was a room upstairs? Now it's got fetishes. Cool. Two fetishes. Well, we had fetishes before, but not two at once. There's nowhere to go from here. For some reason, the room has been repaired. So yeah, the castle is changed quite a bit. And we can keep going upwards. It used to be blocked with rocks, if you remember, from mission one. Now we can go through a door. Hey, look. Looks like the Staff of Hermes symbol on the door. Hmm. Interesting. Ha! Destroy the chair. A book that tells about ways to enter the underworld. Evil is a reflection of man. This evil lurks inside the mirror. One with devil's qualities may bring the blue stone elixir and stand before the mirror. With devil's qualities, I wonder who that is. I look, more little uh, windows. But only one of them opens up. Painting of Colosseum. But it's not the same Colosseum from before, don't worry. Mm, let's go inside. Let's actually go inside. There we go. His commentary is recorded live. I don't add it in up later. But now I want Ifrit here. Introduction of the Frosts. Ah, my explosion is better. There's actually four Frosts here now. But well, there's only ever two at once, so <laughs> thankfully. Four Frosts at once would just suck immensely. I can't even imagine how much that would suck. Normally there's only two here, and this is usually the first time you see frosts. Ow. I need my health. Don't you take away my health. Hee <laughs> hee, he gave me health. Yeah, oh, no full health. Oh well. I need everything I can get. Two possibilities in this hallway. I don't like either. Oh god. These are nobodies. I'm not even going to let them do anything. Because they're horrible enemies. He didn't die, did he? Nope. Yeah, when they die, as you can see, he's exploding. Yeah, he is exploding. Hey! You prick! He's stealing my trigger. Cut that out. Yeah, they steal your devil trigger. These guys are incredibly annoying to fight. I think I may have screwed myself over here because I didn't kill him fast enough. If I can kill them both at once, that'd be good. Did I? Did I do it? I may have. Nope, I didn't. Should have realised because the timer didn't disappear. Oh, there we go. Phew. Ugh, exploding bodies. Nobodies are really difficult to fight in melee range because they just do all sorts of wacky shit. You're best off grenade rolling them and uh, using Inferno when you can. And they've got that really irritating dance where they steal your trigger. Nothing there. Destroy that one for the hell of it. Cool. Gonna want an Alistor. Alistor. Now this room is interesting. Look at that. That's a dragon. Kind of. 
and he just fireballed me because I have bad timing. It's it's like a a dragon fossil, I suppose. I'm gonna reflect its fireballs back at it to kill it. I'm a, I can dance. Killed by your own fireballs. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get rid of that dragon when I first played. Oops. Do not forget to do this. Rotate the lever. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get rid of that bloody dragon. It won't let you pass him if you don't get rid of him. Need this anyway. Need to rotate this around. Which makes that. What is that? We'll find out. And of course, can't forget the blue orb fragment. There we go. Takes a few moments to drop down. For some reason. This part's also a bit annoying. It's that platform that appeared in the lightning. You're supposed to jump across those, but I can't be bothered. Jumping puzzles are annoying. So I'm just going to use air hike to get up there. Hee <laughs> hee. Shortcut. Quicksilver. A crystal ball filled with mercury. The mercury has lunar powers that will open sealed doors. Hmm, okay. It will open sealed doors. So yeah, it's a key. It tells us straight out it's a key. Alright. With this video, I'm trying something a little different. For this mission, I am doing a water house did it in the Golden Eye LP. I just checked that out and that was really interesting. It's quite fun. Finishes. Basically, I know this fight's gonna take a lot of tries. This could be a very awful, awful fight. So I'm gonna take the best deaths and one victory and put them up as separate endings. Let you pick them at random to watch. Ah, oh, that's it, I'm out of here. Ah, oh, no, I need a little more health. Need a little more health. Give me some health. Yeah, man. Nope. Okay, lots of red orbs, though, hey. Red orbs are good. Well, that'll have to do. Alright. Effort. There's a round hole in the centre. Show the gem with the moonlight. Okay. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Are you nervous? I'm really fucking nervous. <laughs> this fight is really hard. Okay, I'm saving right now. So that on repeat attempts, so I don't have to do all the uh, uh, all the collecting and uh, the secret mission and blah blah blah. It's all done. Do I need that anymore? I don't know. Oh, I'll save it there. All right. So this video will probably end right after this cutscene, and then I'll have several different endings. And if you don't like that idea if you think it's dumb. I'll have a edited together version which is just like my previous videos. So let's get into it. A man with guts and honor. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus.
Ooh, Faker. Ooh. I don't like being in a corner like that. For the bad. Ooh! No, no, no. Yes. I don't like that move. That's an awful move. It's a horrible move. Ooh. Epic miss. Whoa! Jeez. He moves fast, doesn't he? Shots the better. Minor grenades. Give up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're fucking spamming. Whoa. You're not like me accusing him of spamming. He is spamming. He's spamming, isn't he? Jeez. <gasps> Too old for this. <gasps> Jesus. All right. Close to death. Can't take another hit. No! 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 Oh God! Epic fail. Down. Whoa. Very satisfying and now it's got a fully charged punch. Whoa. You brought it upon yourself, you were taunting! <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna die. Make the bad man go away. I need trigger. I need trigger. I need trigger. I need trigger, because I know you're gonna be a bastard and fly. Hover. Whatever the hell it is you do. Oh, he's in a red. <gasps> he's in a red. <laughs> ah. Shit. I need trigger. I need not to not die. Oh god! Fuck this fight! <laughs> Fuck you, Nano Angelo! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I did it! I did it!
<laughs> Fuck that fight. <laughs> oh, that is so a D. If I didn't get a D, I would be incredibly shocked. <laughs> I think I used up every single yellow orb I have. Stupidly. So I might have to farm up some more. Because <laughs> so I will be needing more. Gee. Uh, I need to go to bed and get some rest. Heart rate. Unhealthy. So yes, that is my favourite fight in the entire game. Because it is just awesome. Because you spend nearly the entire thing about half a second from death. It is just so much fun, honestly. I died a lot to that. And I had fun every single time. That sounds weird, but I did. So, bum bum bum. Nello Angelo is Virgil, Dante's twin brother. Did you see that coming? Some more plot unraveling. So, next up, mission 18. Won't be anywhere near as hard as this one. So, I'll see you next time.